If your neck is already falling off, sister, sit down. Like, sit down. You do not need to jump in that. Like, your neck already hanging on by a thread. Like, it's peeling. Pull and peel. Like the candy. Like, your neck. Girl. Love. Let's be clear, I ain't never took a loss Every time I go shopping, I ain't gotta check the cost Still independent, still my own boss Still got bad bitches coming up they draws Keep the beat up like a motherfucking Frito Luchy flaming hot like a motherfucking Cheeto This is not an act, I am not Don Cheeto So the nigga out, treat him like a free code Yeah, you heard right, I'm a whole ass gangster Made him eat my butt, I ain't even say What's up, Luchy gang? It's your girl, Luchy V And welcome back to my channel I'm back, y'all heard that? Y'all heard the vocals? No shade, don't be a hater You heard the, you heard the vocals, didn't you? don't play with it but anyways you guys welcome back to my channel i'm back to review part two of the young and reckless reunion if you missed my review on part one it's on my channel so go check it out but before i get into that make sure you like comment subscribe hit that notification bell ding 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 and let's get it okay so first of all let's get into the real tea they took too long to post this reunion part two because you Y'all don't never play crazy like that. Y'all don't never take all day to post stuff. Y'all be posting early. Y'all be, you know what I'm saying? I be able to cook my little food on Sunday and I be having something to watch while I eat. Y'all really play crazy now that's TV. Why did y'all take so long to post this part too? And then y'all chopped and screwed it like a T-Pain song, baby. And, and put all them blurriness. In. Why did y'all play like that? Because I almost didn't review this. Because I had went to sleep. I was waiting. They kept telling me it dropped at nine. Then it was past nine. Then they like, oh, it's still coming tonight. Baby, I was up till like midnight waiting. And then I just finally went to sleep. Let's not play these games like that no more. Okay. I, let's not play those games. Because first of all, y'all app was already tweaking before. Now y'all playing games with dropping stuff like. Is that what we doing now? Y'all trying to get cute with it. Oh, okay. But anyways, y'all. First of all. My mics are uh, noise canceling, so I don't know if you can hear, but it's thunderstorming really, really loud and bad here in Chicago right now. So if you hear a little rumble in the jungle, it's just a little thunder. OK, but let's go ahead and get into it. So part two of the reunion picks up um, where Ivory had told Mel and Ivory. I mean, well, Ivory had told Mel and Legacy. Y'all both can get up. No shade. Y'all, Ivory had just bink, bink both of them real quick so then side gets up and mel was wide open it was like ivory was kind of more folk like ivory did pop on both of them but then she kind of like starts squabbling with legacy mel was wide open and instead of going after mel sad is trying to get legacy like she didn't put ivory in the head like almost trying to get past ivory to get the legacy like now i understand sad doesn't have any beef with mel but it's like, girl, you hopped up like you and Avery was the tag team champions of the world. You were supposed to just get whoever was clever, baby. Like, for real. Like, that irritated me. Because it's just like, then Ferrari came and, and tried to jump in and get Legacy. It's like, Legacy is this big, baby. Why do I need all three of y'all to get on this girl? Like, that was lame. Then it was a lot of editing on that part. Like, the camera had went to the floor, then went to this corner, went to that corner, and blah, blah. And then all we see was Ferrari come up with her wig on. And like halfway with just a little piece of front who left like what happened what happened why y'all didn't want us to see what happened i'm confused like what happened because clearly something happened because i mean ferrari wig was over there and the front who was over there like so what what happened like for real like that kind of irritated me because I'm just like, what's what's going on? Why y'all chopping and screwing it up? Like, y'all be letting us see when other people get tore out the frame. Like, let us see, let us see the real tea, baby. So then we see like Naj yelling, like, oh, Legacy want to jump in on Ivory? Legacy trying to jump Ivory? Naj, what are you talking about, baby? Ivory told both of them, y'all both can get up. No shade. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I don't know. I ain't gonna lie. When it came to Naj, I feel like her adrenaline was pumping from all the squabbles happening and she just wanted to get a fade with somebody for no, for just because. Like, I used to be like that when I was younger too. Like, if it was too many too many fades going on around me, I used to be like getting amped up. Like, dang, I kind of want to, I kind of want to run one with somebody too. Like, I really think that's that's the type of time she was on. Because like, girl, what you mean? Ain't nobody do, you know ain't nobody do nothing to Big, to big Ivory G. 
you know ain't nobody do nothing to Big Ivory. So let's not pretend, sister. <laughs> like, if you want to run a little fade, just say that. Just say that, sis. Just call somebody out. Tap somebody on the show. I'm tapping you in. Let's go. Like, because, girl, all that screaming into the camera. What? They did what to Ivory? My friend? Wait, wait, wait. Girl. Girl, knock it off. Okay. So, then Mel and Ivory score up. They run a fade. Now, I saw a lot of debate online about who won this uh, fade between Mel and Ivory. In my opinion, I had to watch it a couple times. I had to watch it in slow-mo. And when I first watched it in just like the regular speed, I was like, ooh, okay, I don't know. Like, this is, whoa, they both, whoa, 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 whoa. like these girls are getting to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But then when I watch it in slow-mo, I'm sorry. I have to give this round to Ivory. You don't have to agree. But me, I feel like I give that round to Ivory just because when I watched it in slow mo, it was like Ivory was giving her some cocking all the way back, powerful swings. And a lot of male swings were very short, not a lot of power to them. And her hand was opening a lot of times. So she was more so like mushing Ivory instead of actually like, you know what I'm saying? Like her hands kept coming open. Like she was just, uh, like she was just trying to. Swim for dear life, baby, and, and and get up out that get up out the water with Big Avery. Like you know what I'm saying. Like so, but like I said, like I said before in my previous reviews, I feel like Mel and Kai are the only people that really kept up with Avery. I feel like Mel is the only person where Avery really has to like put her all into it. You know what I'm saying? When she be squabbling some of them other girls, like she could just really do it eh, 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 real quick. Like with Mel, she really be. Uh, uh, Oh, she'd be really, if you could do it, put your back into it. Uh, if you could do it, put your back into it. Like, she'd be really getting to it when it comes to mail. You know what I'm saying? So, security breaks uh, mail and Ivory up. And then Ferrari just comes up and sneaks mail. Like, mm, Ferrari. Now, I think Ferrari is really pretty. I like Ferrari, but it's like, ever since we saw... Big Lex sister Binker. Okay, I'm back. I had to switch ring lights because for whatever reason my other ring light went out. I don't know if I was using it too much today or what. So hopefully it doesn't look too much different because this ring light is like three times the size of the other one I normally use to film my videos for this. But okay, anyways, so Ferrari sneaks mail. And like she didn't really do much. Like, you know, y'all know her little arms. But Ferrari sneaks mail and then turns her back. Why would you think like you was just going to get away with that? Like, cause you the host of something? Cause baby, mail turned right around and bong, 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 bong. Like a drum, Cardi B voice, like was upside Ferrari's head, baby. And then Sav tried to jump in. Now, Sav, I don't, I don't understand. I never saw Sav and Mel have an issue, so I don't even know what that was about. But Sav, your neck is already falling off, sister. Sit down. Like, sit down. You do not need to jump in that. Like, your neck already hanging on by a thread. Like, it's peeling. Pulling peel. Like the candy. Like, your neck. Girl, you should have sat this one out, sister. No shade. Like, girl. Okay, so then, um... Ferrari sneaks legacy. Like, I'm just not understanding, like, what's up with all the sneaking? Why are people not, you know, like Ivory, what up? Head up. Like, why are you not just doing the head ups? It's given because you know you can't win if you square up. So you have to just do the sneaking. But okay. So Ferrari sneaks legacy. And then Ivory is like pulling her from the back. I was so glad that Legacy was still swinging. She had called Ivory a few little times. And Ivory was like, get this. Get this, like, yeah, legacy. Stand on business, sister. It don't matter if you this big or what, girl. Stand on your business. I was really glad that she did that. So, um, if y'all see me looking this way, y'all, because I have a little screen right here with my notes. Um, so then Ferragamo runs up out of nowhere and sneaks mail while security is holding her back. Now she got two little boom, boom, boom. They, she ain't didn't really do no damage. It was real soft, little, like love taps almost. Like, now I really like Gamo. Y'all know I be giving her her life on my reviews. I think she's so pretty. I think she bad and all that. But that was lame to me. Because it's like, we already saw y'all do y'all face head up before on the season. And we know you can't 
we know you can't hang with big male. So it's like you you had to do a sneak attack, but it was like for what, girl? For what? Mel wasn't even saying nothing to you, coming at you or nothing like what you. What was that for? And then I noticed when they went to the back room, she was like, "Yeah, they trying to jump on Rory and Rory, Rory jumping on people. Like what you talk? Like I don't know. Like from the editing to the jumping, like this reunion was just like, baby, what? Like to them blurring out stuff and trying to blur people out. Like, I didn't understand what was going on." I honestly did not understand what was going on. So, um, then KP was screaming, eat gamo, eat gamo. KP, that's cute. Look at this. Like, sit this one out, KP, because we, you for sure, you for sure enough can't hang with, with Mel or, or anyone for that matter. Like, I mean, I, KP, she's beautiful, pretty girl, but the hands, mm -mm, mm -mm. I didn't see any of them. Sorry, didn't see any of them. So then it's like Sav and Cuzzo are having a conversation. You know, and they like, are you good? Are you good? Are you good? And then they just get to squabbling again. <sighs> Sav, first of all, Sav face was already puffed up, lumped up, neck gone. Like, so I don't even know why she wanted to run into the fade with this girl Cuzzo, but... She run another favor with Cuzzo, and it's like Sav just instantly grabs Cuzzo hair. She not swinging or nothing. Cuzzo just uppercut, 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 uppercut. Like, I just want Sav to do what she did during the season. Sit there, look cute, you know, be on your bouge, and go to the confessionals and do some funny confessionals. Because, girl... Getting in the field is not your forte, sis. I mean, I'm proud of you for getting out there, but that's just not your thing. No shade. So they, you know, they put some of the girls into like a little separate room and Naj is just screaming like, yeah, because I'm finna get y'all. And y'all do, do Naj, why you ain't just running fade on somebody out there? Like, why you doing all this in the camera, sis? Like, I know the cameraman was like, girl, like what do i gotta do with this like calm down sister like girl she she in the camera like it's like you know i know security was there but it's like let's be for real she really wanted to run a fade all she had to do was be quiet and sit down and then you could just run up on somebody like it's very simple it's not rocket science we know how this works on reality shows when you want to run a fade you just sit down and act cool mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, so security's not on you and then you just mm, do what you want to do you know what i'm saying um so then i'm not gonna lie ivory has started treating all them she said look don't nobody else need to jump in none of my squabbles because how is it so many of us and only two of them and they still prancing around here lollygagging laughing and skip to my loo my darling and and they're they're not hurt or anything like for real though, she was just like, none of y'all did no damage. Like, you, she was like, I'm, I'm better by myself. And no T no shade, Sa and, and Ferrari hopping in that and Sav, like, nobody did anything but Ivory. Ivory really could have just took Legacy and, and Mel by herself, baby. I ain't gonna lie. Like, Ivory is like the Thanos of now that's TV. Like, she got the Infinity Stones. Like, just, just let her do what she do. If she want to do a, a two on one, let her run that two on one because baby she could do it she can handle it she could take it because the other people hopping in that like it really was just a waste of time i really feel like they wanted to hop in while ivory was doing it because they know ivory gonna be throwing them haymakers so they would have the other people the opponents would have less likely the time to put them fingers on them y'all ain't slick baby y'all y'all tried to use ivory as like a shield yeah okay mm -hmm. so then megan um has a talk with mel and legacy and you know just asking them like how they feel or whatever and legacy was just saying she think it's bogus that they was letting her get jumped all season now y'all letting her get jumped at the reunion and i agree with that i just i'm not with the jumping y'all i don't care what was said what was did any of that like i'm just not with the jumping like give a head up run the fade with me head up baby like what do we need to jump for especially legacy she's so small like what should you jump this small little lady for and then you know she was talking to mel and asking mel like basically who she want to run a fade with mel said line them up mm, 
Mm. Align them up. She said all of them. Mill said she want all of them. She want you. You get a fade. 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 Mill said I'm on that. Line them up. Like I, I felt you though, Mill, because y'all too many of y'all tried to jump in on me, baby. So now I owe every single person on the cast a black eye. Sorry. Sorry. That's just what it is. Mm hmm. So then Rari and Legacy run a fade. Um, now the editing on this, it was just too much. It was just too, too much. Like, I don't know if y'all was trying to hide how bad Ferrari got put in the blender or what, but like the editing on this part was just too, too much. Like when we had just saw Mel and Ivory square up and do that thing, it was no cutting or nothing. Y'all was putting stuff in slow mo. Y'all was zooming in. Y'all was doing that. Like, why y'all didn't do that for Ferrari versus Legacy? Why was it all like two seconds and then it's cut to the floor and then just back up? Like, why y'all do that? Why y'all do that? But I mean, from the little pieces of it, we saw Legacy definitely won. Like, Ferrari was not even really swinging. She was mm -mm, running from the swings from Legacy. And all she kept saying was, you long B, you long B, you long B. Okay, girl. That's the insult. She just whooped you, sis. Like, no shade. And I really do like Ferrari, but, like, you took that L. Like, they asked Deja and Megan, like, who won that round? They like, mm, the long one. The long one. Deja said, Ferrari should have tapped Ivory in <laughs> for that round. And it's like, you could tell that Ferrari was embarrassed because she starts saying stuff like, you're not coming back to Dallas TV. You're not going to be on Greek Life, another little new show that's supposed to come out like, Girl, then Ferrari went into the room that the other girls was in. And it was like, who you just fade? Mel? She told some all of them. Girl, all of who? Girl, no. Legacy, the only one that just folded you up, sister. Like, what? Like. I, I, I do agree that Ferrari should be the host again, but she just don't need to be starting mess and, and getting into stuff because, you know, people are, are, are crunching you up. And I don't think the host should be getting crunched up, <laughs> you know. So then Kai finally arrives. Kai comes out and her and Ivory basically discuss how, um you know, Ivory had just basically like attacked her for no reason because it was like mistaken identity. And Ivory was like, well, Ferrari told me you were the one. Like, see, it keeps coming back to Ferrari starting stuff and being messy. And it's just like, girl, like if you're going to do that and you're going to be messy, I say just stand on that. Be like, yes, I'm messy. Yes, I was doing it so my show could be viral so I could woo woo. But I don't like that. She's like, no, it wasn't really. Girl, just stand on business and say you did it. If that's what it was, just say that's what it was. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see, you know, whatever. Um, and then, you know, Kai and Ivory kind of debate about if Kai took one of the rounds, like she took a W on one of the rounds between her and Ivory. And Ivory said she don't think she won none of the rounds. Kai said she thinks she did win one. Me personally, when Kai took her socks off that last little round, she she did to me. She did take a W on that round against Ivory. I ain't gonna lie, no shade. Like Cause she, she had Ivory on the floor, I think, or she, she hit the floor for a second and got back up something like that. Either way it go. I feel like Kai did take one of them rounds, um, against Ivory. Um, and then they discussed why Ivory was crying in the bathroom on that one scene. And she basically was just like, she knew that she was looking crazy at that point. Like, you know, she knew she had did too much. And I really think she's talking about like, just you know stealing off some of the girls just kicking that girl under the table all that like i really feel like that's what she is talking about and she knew she did too much and i had a lot of respect for ivory for that you know what i'm saying she was just saying like i knew i was looking crazy i knew it was no going back i knew it was on camera and i have a lot of respect for her for realizing that like that was too much you know what i'm saying because when i watched ivory on south central baddies she didn't give me bully you know what i'm saying she gave me standing on business when I watched her on the first couple episodes of Young and Reckless, she was giving me straight bully. And I was like, wow, like, this is not the ivory that I was just watching on these other shows. So I'm glad that she realized that and knew that that was looking crazy because I think ivory is really pretty. I think she is beautiful. Um, and I think she's a star. She has a lot of star quality in her, you know, and the rest of the reunion, they were just talking, doing like final thoughts or something like I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I cut it off for the last 10 minutes. I didn't watch all them little final thoughts and stuff because it was kind of getting boring to me at that point. But um, overall, I felt like the editing on the reunion, I didn't like. 
the blurring stuff out i didn't like taking all day to upload it i didn't like but i did enjoy young and reckless season one as a whole i think that young and reckless is probably like one of my favorite shows that's came on now that's tv so far you know i think it's a little better than south central baddies just because like they actually do some things and we had some beautiful girls on there. No shades to the South Central baddies. But I just feel like the, the girls that are on Young and Reckless, they are more like girly girls and want to have their hair and makeup done all the time. And I feel like the girls on South Central baddies are more like on a gang, on a gang. You know what I'm saying? Like them kind of girls or whatever. And it's nothing wrong with that. But I just feel like I relate more to the girly girls that will still stand on business type of thing. So I definitely enjoyed Young and Reckless season one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this review comment down below i'm always down um to take suggestions on other shows you guys would like me to review bmf is about to start the new season of bmf is about to start friday i've never reviewed a scripted television show i only have reviewed reality tv shows so i don't know y'all let me know if y'all think i should review bmf because i really like all the like 50 cent shows i watch all the you know the power shows and all of that and i really wanted to review raising canaan but I didn't know like if you guys would like that. So comment down below. Let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching.